हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू जी एस कोर सो नाउ वॉट विल बी डूइंग इज इन दिस डिस्कशन लाइक वी डू ईच डे विल गो थ्रू करंट अफेयर्स एंड थ्रू द कंटेंट ऑफ करंट अफेयर्स वी विल स्किल अवर सेल्फ विल डेवलप स्किल्स टू सॉल्व एम सी क्यूज ऑल राइट तो लेट अस लुक एट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स ऑफ द डे फर्स्ट इज इंडिया भूटान रिलेशन प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी वॉज ऑन विजिट टू भूटान उसके बाद वी हैव वी आर वी एल एल ई एक्स टू ऑल्सो नाउ नोन एज पुष्पक ऑल राइट तो वील लुक इन टू वॉट इज पुष्पक वाई इज इट सो इंपॉर्टेंट वील ऑल्सो लुक इन टू द डिफरेंस बिटवीन रियल एंड नॉमिनल जी डी पी जूरिस प्रूडेंस ऑफ नेशनल ह्यूमन राइट्स कमीशन एंड ड्रग ट्रायल्स विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू डायबिटीज नो डायबिटीज इज टर्निंग आउट टू बी वन ऑफ द फेवरेट टॉपिक्स ऑफ यू पी एस सीज ठीक है इनफैक्ट नॉट ओनली डायबिटीज बट ऑल्सो अदर नॉन कम्युनिकेबल कम्युनिकेबल डिसीजेस नॉन कम्युनिकेबल डिसीजेस तो लेट इज लुक इन टू दम तो द फर्स्ट न्यूज इज ऑफकोर्स विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू इंडिया भूटान रिलेशन प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी एज वी हैव डिस्कस्ड वॉज ऑन विजिट टू भूटान वेर ही वॉज कॉर्डली वेलकम्ड बाय बोथ द मोनार्क ऑफ भूटान एंड ऑल्सो द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ भूटान ऑल राइट वी हैव अ वेरी हेल्दी रिलेशन विद भूटान ऑल राइट वेरी हेल्दी रिलेशन विद भूटान इनफैक्ट भूटान ऑलमोस्ट कंप्लीटली ऑलमोस्ट कंप्लीटली डिपेंड्स ऑन इंडिया with respect to its external affairs though in past few years bhutan has tried to diversify its relations still its dependence on india remains other thing is that bhutan's global trade or international trade international trade happens through india all right it happens through india because bhutan basically is landlocked bhutan basically is landlocked all right in the past few months though what we have seen is relations between india and bhutan to a certain extent to a certain extent not being as cordial as we would expect not being as cordial as we will expect one of the reasons for that is doklam now doklam basically is an area under the sovereignty of bhutan so it is territory of bhutan which is also claimed also claimed by china all right and this particular territory is important for us this particular territory is important for us because doklam is situated at an elevation through which siliguri corridor of india is exposed and siliguri corridor is a small strip of land that connects northeastern india northeastern india to mainland india all right so we cannot be caught slipping over it china china recently has suggested a border territory exchange it has suggested territory exchange though bhutan has not agreed upon it bhutan has also not categorically denied it at one point of time the relations between bhutan and india were such ki bhutan would have categorically refused to go into any such agreement but the same is not the case now all right and hence this frequent visits between bhutani diplomats and indian diplomats have started taking place so that the relations could be improved and be made cordial as before and this visit of prime minister modi basically is on that line itself prime minister modi was awarded the highest civilian award 
of Bhutan. In fact, he became the first non-Bhutanese to get this award. The name of that award, you have to write down in comment section. Okay. Let us make it more interactive. Write down the name of that award in, write down the main of, uh, name of that particular award in the comment section. Let us now look at, look at the past history of Indian Bhutan. So, Indian Bhutan in the 1950s itself signed India Bhutan India Bhutan Friendship Treaty and from the point of view of that treaty what basically happened was India provided provided employment and It provided employment and <clears throat> economic benefits to Bhutan. Alright, so basically a Bhutani citizen in India is eligible to almost all types of employments including the right to write UPSC examination. Remember that. Alright, the right to write UPSC examination. So in that way, the treaty that was signed around 70 years ago, more than 70 years ago, has been beneficial for Bhutan. With respect to India, what did it give India? It gave India an upper hand. Upper hand. From the point of view of managing Bhutan for the world. So it gave India an upper hand in an important, in an important neighboring country. Important also from the point of view of China. Right. So, it gave us an upper hand with respect to that. This treaty was then remodified in 2007. Actually, when 2007 what happened is we signed a new treaty. The basis was the treaty of 1950s itself. In 2007 we got into, we basically got into a new treaty and this new treaty what it did was it, it took forward. It basically took forward our relations with Bhutan. So, let us now see, let us now see, let us now basically see the question with respect to the same. Treaty of Friendship of 2007 places legal obligation on Bhutan not to export arms and ammunition through India to a third country. No such obligation has been made. Alright, no such obligation basically has been made. India you have to remember is the largest provider of arms and ammunition to Bhutan. Alright, second thing with respect to military or defense, na, India also provides training to Bhutani soldiers and Bhutani officers. Although now China has also expressed that wish. But Bhutan has still not responded to it. The first statement is incorrect. Second statement. According to the Treaty of Bhutan, according to treaty, Bhutan cannot secede its territory to a third country without the consent of India. This again is wrong. Because sovereignty of Bhutan is not compromised according to this treaty. Okay, so if Bhutan wants exchange of treaty with China, legally speaking, India cannot do anything. India cannot basically stop it, stop the sale. Alright, third, Chumbi Valley comes under Yangdong County, county of Bhutan. Uh, Yangdong County basically does not belong to Bhutan, it belongs to Tibet. Alright, it belongs to Tibet, Tibet province of China. So, all the three statements are incorrect and hence our answer will be Hence, our answer basically will be D. Moving on to the next question. Now, this is a very important question and I expect this question to be in this year's examination. Alright. It is with respect to, it is basically with respect to reusable launch vehicle. Reusable launch vehicle which is now also called as Pushpak. Alright, it is also called as Pushpak. 
so what is it and why is it important it is important because it will allow it will allow more than one more than one use of launch vehicles in times to come and this basically will lower the cost lower the cost of satellite launch satellite launch um us is already using them theek hai india is also india is also uh, moving towards it we are still in trial phase hence any time soon this particular technology may not be used it will still take some some time it will basically still take some time and testing of it basically happened at at aeronautical test range which is in chitradurga chitradurga in karnataka all right what it basically what it basically uh, what basically was observed was ki the pushpak viman was taken with a helicopter to the height of 4.5 kilometers the altitude of 4.5 kilometers and then it was basically dropped all right and then on the basis of aviation on the ba basis of you know aviation and predetermined path the pushpak viman landed at the atr that is that is aeronautical <clears throat> that is basically aeronautical uh, tra 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 training range all right aeronautical test range not training range test range test range so that basically was the case that basically was seen to be the case all right and the landing if you look into it now landing that has happened it was it has basically given confidence for the purpose of for the purpose of future trials also it is not like falcon rocket of spacex falcon rocket ka kya hai na it has an upright landing whereas pushpak has landing like an aircraft it has a landing like an aircraft for the purpose of for the purpose of pushpak for the purpose of pushpak landing what basically is used first and foremost something called as brake parachutes also there are landing gear brakes and nose wheel steering system all right <clears throat> initial cost of pushpak is more than normal launch vehicle but in the long run long run what we will see is we will benefit from it we will benefit of for, from it why why basically you know um, the initial cost is more it is necessarily because of the alloys that will be used it is also because of the new type of propulsion system that will be used it will also be it will also be because of because of the wings that have to be added basically have to be added to pushpak so that it can use the wind systems for the purpose of being navigated towards the landing range all right it is also not that we are using or we have we are into reusable launch vehicles for the first time in fact for the first time this technology was tested by apj abdul kalam and it was way back it was way back in 1970s when this technology was for the first time 
फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम टेस्टेड इन इंडिया बट यू नो द थिंग इज दैट कि वी हैव बजट कॉन्स्टेंट्स इसरो हैज फंड कॉन्स्टेंट्स एंड ऑल्सो द टेक्नोलॉजी इट सेल्फ वॉज नेट नॉट दैट डेवलप नाउ वी आर इन द पोजिशन टू मूव टूवर्ड्स द टेक्नोलॉजी ऑल राइट चलो नाउ लेट एस लुक इन टू द क्वेश्चन कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स रिगार्डिंग आर एल वी एल ई एक्स टू इट इज अ टेक्नोलॉजी डेमोन्स्ट्रेटर फॉर लैंडिंग क्राफ्ट ऑफ गगनयन नहीं इट विल नॉट बी यूज इन गगनयन बट आफ्टर दैट इट इज बेस्ड ऑन रॉकेट टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर अपराइट प्रेसिशन लैंडिंग नहीं अपराइट प्रेसिशन लैंडिंग एज आई टोल्ड यू इज इन फलकन फलकन रॉकेट ऑफ स्पेस एक्स नॉट इन पुष्पक तो बोर्ड स्टेटमेंट आर नॉट करेक्ट ना तो आर आंसर विल बी डी ना इधर वन नॉर टू मूविंग ऑन नाउ टू जी डी पी ग्रोथ सो द न्यूज इज दैट न्यूज इज बेसिकली दैट कि इंडिया रियल जी डी पी इंडिया रियल जी डी पी विल हिट एट परसेंट दिस इयर ऑल राइट ना वॉट बेसिकली जी डी पी जी डी पी इज monetary cost monetary value not cost monetary value of all goods and services services produced in a country in a country in period of 1 year All right. This is GDP. This basically is GDP. Now, what is nominal GDP and what is real GDP? So, nominal GDP will only take into consideration price of a good or price of a particular price of goods and services. Right. now in this particular price what will also be included inflation will also be included inflation basically will also be included theek hai real gdp real gdp on the other hand what it will not do is it will negate what it will not do is it will not take into consideration inflation so it will negate inflation all right and as it negates inflation na we will come to know whether number of goods that are produced that have increased or not number of goods and services that are been produced that have increased or not theek hai isme kya hoga na we will only see monetary value to grow up we will not understand whether that increase in monetary value is due to inflation or increase in the number of production in real gdp what will happen is because we negate inflation because we negate inflation the only reason for rise will be increase in the number of products increase in the number of goods and services all right so that way in that way basically now what we see is what we see is real gdp is different from nominal gdp okay so now let us consider the statements provided to us with respect to with respect to these two terms the real gdp growth measures increase in country's economic output adjusted for for inflation providing a more adequate reflection on economic growth over the time yes so it is adjusted for inflation matlab inflation is negated inflation basically is negated so the first statement is correct nominal gdp growth reflects increase in country's economic output without adjusting for inflation right potentially leading to overestimation of economic growth if prices are rising absolutely this is what we discussed so inflation will not be negated inflation will be taken into consideration and therefore we will actually not know whether increase in the monetary value of goods and services is due to increase in production or it is due to rise in price third statement in an in an economy experiencing high inflation in an economy in, in experiencing high inflation nominal gdp growth may appear robust but real gdp growth may be stagnant or negative absolutely correct this statement is also correct theek hai if the price increase suppose a country is producing 100 tomatoes and price of one tomato is rupees 10 so obviously 
द टोटल जी डी पी ऑफ द कंट्री इज वन थाउजेंड दिस इज इन द केस वेर द कंट्री इज ओनली प्रोड्यूसिंग टोमेटोज एंड दिस इज जस्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल नेक्स्ट ईयर ऑल्सो इट इज प्रोड्यूसिंग हंड्रेड टोमेटोज बट द प्राइज ऑफ टोमेटोज हैज नाउ गॉन टू ट्वेंटी तो नाउ द जी डी पी विल बी टू थाउजेंड सो इन दिस केस वॉट हैज हैपेंड इज नॉमिनल जी डी पी हैज इंक्रीज राइट फ्रॉम वन थाउजेंड इट हैज बिकम टू टू थाउजेंड बट हैज रियल जी डी पी इंक्रीज द आंसर इज नो बिकॉज प्रोडक्शन हैज रिमेन द सेम दैट मीन्स द कंट्री इन एक्चुअलिटी हैज नॉट ग्रोन ऑल राइट इट इज शोइंग ग्रोथ विद रिस्पेक्ट टू टोटल वैल्यू बिकॉज इन्फ्लेशन इज फैक्टरिंग इन तो इन दिस केस विच स्टेटमेंट इज विच स्टेटमेंट बेसिकली इज करेक्ट तो इयर सी इज करेक्ट दैट इज ऑल द थ्री स्टेटमेंट आर करेक्ट ओके नाउ लेट एस मूव टू नेशनल ह्यूमन राइट कमीशन इट इज अ स्टैट्यूटरी बॉडी ठीक है इट इज स्टैट्यूटरी बॉडी विच प्राइमरीली लुक्स इन टू प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ ह्यूमन राइट्स एंड इट इज बेसिकली इन न्यूज बिकॉज देर हैज बीन अ रेसिस्ट रिमार्क रिसेंटली रेसिस्ट रिमार्क रिसेंटली बाय अ क्लासिकल सिंगर एंड नेशनल ह्यूमन राइट्स कमीशन इज लुकिंग इन टू इट ऑल राइट नेशनल ह्यूमन राइट्स कमीशन इज हेडेड बाय फॉर्मर चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ इंडिया ऑल राइट एंड इट हैज द जॉब एज वी हैव सीन टू प्रोटेक्ट ह्यूमन राइट्स इन इंडिया प्लस इट ऑल्सो लुक्स इन टू इट ऑल्सो लुक्स इन टू वेदर कंडीशन इन जेल्स conditions in jails are conducive for human rights and also it is its job to conduct seminars seminars and <clears throat> to conduct seminars and push ahead knowledge of human rights all right in india national human rights commission also enjoys powers of civil court when it comes to taking evidence with respect to any matter where human rights are infringed all right taking evidence also includes production of documents or enforcing attendance of a witness remember though that it is an advisory body it cannot pass orders as such it is an advisory body theek okay. hai also it provides advice with respect to how human rights protection of human rights and human rights in themselves could be improved in india all right report of national human rights commission annually is presented to president of india who then lays the report before both houses of the parliament chalo let us now look into let us now look into the question statement 1 human rights in india are protected under various legal frameworks including the constitution of india including the constitution of india and international treaties ratified by the country 100% in fact it is due to this international treaties that we have created national human rights commission the national human rights commission of india is the sole authority responsible for ensuring protection and promotion of human rights in the country absolutely not first and foremost there are state human rights commission also there are state human rights commission also which look into the same then there is also judiciary then there are also bodies like national commission for scs national commission for sts national commission for backward classes national commission for women all right so this commission also look into the human rights aspects but they look into human rights aspect of special specific communities all right and then there are also there are also organizations like ngos or civil societies non governmental organizations right so they also they also promote try to protect and promote try to protect and promote human rights theek hai the first statement is right second statement is wrong na so our answer basically will be 
और आंसर बेसिकली विल बी डी चलो मूविंग ऑन टू द लास्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ द डे एंड इट इज रिलेटेड टू ड्रग ट्रायल्स एंड डायबेटिक मेडिसिन नाउ दिस हैव अकॉर्डिंग टू रिपोर्ट दैट हैज बीन रिलीज्ड दिस हैज इंक्रीज ड्रग ट्रायल्स हैव इंक्रीज ऑल राइट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट नॉन कम्युनिकेबल डिसीजेस आर टर्निंग आउट टू बी हेल्थ हेजार्ड फॉर इंडिया ठीक है दिस आर बेसिकली दिस बेसिकली आर लाइफ स्टाइल डिजीज लाइफ स्टाइल डिजीजेस ऑल राइट दिस इंक्लूड प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू ब्लड प्रेशर देन वी हैव डायबिटीज ऑफकोर्स डायबिटिक्स ऑफकोर्स वी हैव हार्ट डिजीजेस इन दम वी ऑल्सो हैव किडनी डिजीजेस ऑल राइट दिस डिजीजेस normally are not transferred from one individual to another but they have been developing because of a certain type of lifestyle for example relying too much on fast food all right minimum or low consumption of water low consumption of water least physical activities all right lack of balanced diet balanced diet right what we have also seen is costs with respect to this diseases is immensely more and they and this cost basically is lifelong and it is affecting indians it is basically affecting indians the biggest worry among this is diabetes the biggest worry basically is diabetes all right and diabetes is caused due to lack of insulin insulin which is produced by pancreas all right and lack of insulin basically what it does is it does not allow it does not allow consumption of or you know burning out of sugar in the body leading to health hazards hai na now to fight this medicines like glucagon like peptide one are produced have been produced theek hai now what does this medicine basically do what is it what it is basically into so this particular disease or uh, this particular this particular drug what it will do is it will improve it will basically induce it will induce it will in, induce creation of insulin in the body which will effectively control blood sugar level also with respect to this particular also with respect to glp now we also see it will help in reduction of Wait. All right. The next drugs, next line of drugs that are been that have been coming up. For example, we have sodium glucose contraceptor. Sodium glucose contraceptor two. It also uses the same. It also uses the same phenomena. All right. and there is basically rise of such drugs which control sugar and induce weight loss right so let us now look into the statements provided most of the drugs targeting weight loss mimics a hormone called as glucocon like peptide 1 Absolutely correct. All right, this basically is hormone. मतलब when we look into 
when we look into its biology now so this basically is an hormone that is induced to drugs the drugs stimulate pancreas to produce more insulin through the glp glp1 hormone absolutely correct this is also correct so both these statements are correct both these statements are correct and basically the second statement forms the reason for the first statement right hence what we will do is we will mark a as the correct answer to get all the latest news to get all the latest news with respect to upsc na do use thank you do use thank you that is created by gs score and if you have any issues with respect to current affairs do comment we will respond we will respond with or without fail my dear friends all right to so do comment please like the video and please subscribe to the channel thank you so much for being part of this discussion we'll meet soon bye and happy holy guys